I'm Maya Jama and I'm on a voyage of discovery. Ahead of the 2014 FIFA World Cup, official partner Hyundai is sending me across Brazil. They've given me just 32 days, the duration of the tournament itself, to visit all 12 match cities, soaking up the culture and to discover just why Brazilians are so in love with the beautiful game. The journey of a lifetime and you are coming with me. So I'm leaving Curitiba and going to Porto Alegre. Hello. I just woke up. <laughs> I'm in Porto Alegre, the most southern of the FIFA World Cup cities, and I am excited, really excited. It's number four on my list. Let's see what's got in store. Brazilian Chelsea's Oscar made a name for himself in Porto Alegre playing for Internacional. We caught up with him at a Hyundai photo shoot and asked him his recommendations for what to do in this city. Ah, Porto Alegre is a very nice city. I have a few tips that the Brazilians like to play the game that we call football de sete, que é, que é o football society, que os, os brasileiros normal jogam bastante. I think it's só era nenhum. And I didn't have to look very far, as society soccer is played everywhere. Every pitch was packed with kids playing the sport they love. I'm going to try my hardest to get involved. My footwear isn't exactly the best today. Left the trainers in the bag. But flip-flops or not, I'm going to have a go. <laughs> Skills from um, London to Brazil, you know, the toe-tapping flip-flop style. The two teams heavily supported in this town are Grimio and Internacional. Internacional! What about Oscar? Do you like Oscar? Oscar? Oh my gosh. Here we have, we have an idol. It's called Andres D'Alessandro. Okay. When D'Alessandro got injured, mm -hmm. uh, Oscar appeared and... He took the shine. Yeah, he, he made it so good, you know, and we love him. There is a region that includes Rio Grande do Sul, mm -hmm. Argentina and Uruguay. Yeah. And in this region, there are the Gaúchos. These people, they like to trade horses. They like to plant vegetables. So like cowboys then? It's, it's like cowboys. similar to cowboys. Yeah, it's yeah. similar. It's yeah. similar. I'm a pro now, the cowboy hat, the shoes, dun dun dun, very good. And what about Ronaldinho? He's from here, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. from here. Yeah. And he's from Ponto Alegre. Ronaldinho Gaúcho. Gaúcho, oh, there you so, go. So, because if you are from Rio Grande do Sul, yeah. you, you are Gaúcho. Yeah. And he was obviously born in the... Yes, yeah. he was born here. So that's where his nickname comes from. Cool. Even though the stadium has been rebuilt for the World Cup, I'm on my way to the pitch where Oscar plied his trade. All right, so I'm just about to go into the Biario Stadium. Uh, a bit disappointed, actually, because I was expecting something beautiful, massive, oh, my, and... The stadium's actually over there. The what? The stadium's just, just there. The stadium, yeah, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> obviously, I knew I was just going to, like, do a, do a pan kind of view over to the real one. Yeah, I'm just I'm going to go in now, anyway. The field is everywhere doing their job. They haven't got much time left. They seem pretty hard at work. So international playing red. I didn't know this. I've come in blue, bright blue trousers as well. Probably the brightest blue you can get. People keep giving me really funny looks. Look, there's a crew of red people over here. Red gang. Alright, I'm going to go down to the pitch now. I think it's definitely safe to say I'm going to be the first Bristolian ever to put a foot on this ground in this stadium. What an honour! Luxury seating over here. 
Kind of reminds me of a cinema if you pay like 20 pounds to get in. This is what I'd do if I was a manager. I wouldn't be so serious, I'd bring the fun to it. Get jogging, jog. You know, movement for the players. Lads, you couldn't hit a barn door. Stop it. Okay, so this is the changing rooms and they are absolutely massive. Woo! No echo, nice. In the shower, there's no cubicles, so I'm sure there's a lot of male bonding going on here, you know? Maybe some comparison of thigh sizes. <laughs> All right, so I've just christened the toilet. Massive privilege. So this is the uh, World Cup draw. So this is the World Cup bid. Cup, cup, it doesn't really work, does it? Incredible! So I'm here with Carla Hitter, who works at the stadium. Carla, what's the atmosphere going to be like here in this city and when the World Cup's on? Because here uh, era um stadium of 40 years. A gente fala que ele tem alma, que está sendo reformado para poder beneficiar e trazer o maior número de público possível e, sem sombra de dúvidas, vai ser uma festa. I think this is probably one of the most beautiful pictures in the world. The view, you've just got the river and then the stadium in the background, this long open road of just people on bikes and drinking the tea. I love it. I don't want to go any. I want to stay right here for the rest of my time. The restaurant that is one of the masks that I sempre, sempre gostei muito in Porto Alegre, ali perto da Padre Chagas. I think she will like it. Ela na usina das masks tem tem o top five e é só sei lá se vai ver os top five. Qualquer uma que você escolher é uma das melhores masks que tem lá em Porto Alegre. All right, so here are the five dishes. They all smell delicious. I'm going to try each and every one and let you know my favourite. This is like a pattern. That's the best. Hands down, that is the winner. All five, delicious, but that one, cream of the crop. Literally, very free man. Did he say I was supposed to eat all five? <sighs> Mate, I think I'm gonna have to roll home. If you're lucky enough to come to Porto Alegre for the World Cup, here are my top tips. Try and get a game of society soccer against some locals. Dance with a gaucho. Eat a bigger rib than this. Or if you're really hungry, eat all five of Oscar's pastas. So that's it from beautiful Port Alegre. Thank you for joining me on my FIFA World Cup Cities tour with Hyundai. So the next stop is Cuiabá. Remember to keep following me on my journey on the Hyundai UK Facebook page. You can tweet me at my Ajama or hashtag Hyundai World Cup Cities. I'm off to have a drink and watch the sunset. I'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs> Right. Cheers.